at Lois store right now. I'm gonna buy a garage door remote uh, as an additional one. So let's see what we can do. These are a couple options uh, for the garage door remote. I bought this one before, but it it didn't work. So I just returned that. Now I'm gonna buy another one. Okay, so I just bought this one because uh, this is uh, the one from Chamberlain and my garage door is also of uh, Chamberlain. Uh, though this remote says uh, this is universal garage door remote. So I will try in my garage and I will show you how to install it. Okay. So my original remote is also of Chamberlain. As you can see my garage door my garage door motor this is also made of chamberlain now the catch is uh, though it is made of chamberlain but it is uh, mentioned here uh, like this is universal garage door remote that means uh, most likely you'll be able to use the same remote for many other you know, garage door uh, but uh, here one thing i want to mention uh, previously I bought Skylink but unfortunately that didn't work with my Chamberlain and that is how I bought this one okay now I'm unboxing this one so looks like I got a uh, catalog then the remote itself and uh, a holder so this is the manual and here the catch is you need to understand this is the learn button system or not because some of the uh, garage door are of deep switches uh, like this one and some are of learn button so let me show you what learn button means so this is called learn button as you can see learn button that means in some cases uh, you have to switch the deep switches but in some cases you'll have to go through the learn button so that uh, you press that and uh, the motor itself it takes the signal of the uh, remote and thereby it learns it so maybe that's why they call it learn button okay so the manual says that i need to press and hold the learn button and then i need to press and hold and release the remote control for a certain number of uh, times so uh, for my one as this is the orange and red one for my one so i'm gonna press twice press and release and let's see if it works so I'm pressing the learn button now you can see it has blinked now I'm pressing uh, this one twice So it works successfully uh, just by pressing twice and you'll have to make sure that you are pressing the remote control within 30 seconds of pressing the orange button above. So I'm testing again if I can close by this one. Okay, so it was successful now I'm gonna do one more thing uh, because it was a case in my previous remote uh, when I was configuring that Skylink one then my original remote was not working so I'm gonna test with the original remote again Yeah, so it's working nice with both the remotes and I'm happy to buy the Chamberlain one. So if you have liked this video, please stay tuned with us by subscribing and liking the video and sharing with all of your friends and family members. I will make sure I'll come up with so many other handy guidelines. See you sometimes in Canada. Bye-bye.